guys? What's up, divas and divos? So I'm back for another video. done these before. I have not done them in a minute and I'm really hoping that I can attempt to do this today because a girl has these daggone nails on that has been really challenging. Um, I could not braid my hair. I'm surprised I was able to slick it back in a ponytail, but I definitely could not braid my hair into cornrows. Challenging trying to be cute. Like seriously, it, it just is. Feminine, girly, like, you know, you guys come on here with nails and it just, you make it look so easy to do your hair, do your makeup. Listen, to some of us women, it's a little challenging, okay? Okay. So I was sent some contact lenses by a company named TTDI. The third eye, the third eye, okay, duh, the third eye. And they sent me contacts to try on. They sent me four pair and some other stuff in here in this box that I'm pretty sure they do not want me to put in my eyes. And I also have four little cases that come with tweezers that you use for your contacts and like these little plunger like things. Um, they're not really plungers, but they're like suctions. I'll show you guys all of that. Also in the package came a mirror and these little things. I'm not really sure what am I supposed to do with these. I'm not sure if they're makeup pigments or what, but I got four of these and I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to put them in my eyes because if I do, then girl, I'll be at the hospital, okay? In the ER with pink eye or some type of other thing. I'm not really sure what this is for. I guess it's just an added little gift, but I got four of them, pink, purple, gold, and like a limish yellow color. The colors are pretty. Listen, I don't really know what this is, okay? I'm definitely not putting this in my eye. This one, I don't think it's makeup because this is like some type of, looks like it's plastic. It's, it's in pieces. I don't know what you do with this stuff. Maybe you could use it for arts and crafts. I don't really know, but two of them are like some type of foilish like. Maybe you could put it on your nails. I'm not really sure. The boxes of lenses come like this, not prescription. Also in the box is this kind of like looks like a um like a temporary tattoo. I, I'm not really sure. Oh yes, these are temporary tattoos, I guess. I'm not really sure. <laughs> And I'm not really sure what these things are, but trust me, do not put this in your contact lenses, okay? Okay. Then the box is really cute because it has like this little pixie elf on the inside taking a nap. How cute is that? I have four different colors. I have a gray polar light, a gray pair, which is the polar lights too. Another gray pair, which is just the polar lights. Yellow green, which is the polar lights. The last one is the green, which is the polar lights too. They also come with these cases, which you will use to put your lenses in, girl. And inside of it is the case where you will put your lenses at. Comes with these little tweezers, which you can pick them up with, which makes it more sterile. You ain't got to put your little dirty hands on them. Bro. Also, it comes with these little plunger-like things, which you can pick up and stick in your eye. We'll put the lens on. I got my solution right here, and we're going to try these out. Please, please, please don't let me jab my eyes out. Because if I jab my eyes out, then I'm not going to be able to see no more. First color we're going to try out is the gray polar lights too. They do not say right or left because it's just basically up to you. And like I said, they're not prescription. Each one comes in one of these and they're already some solution in it. But you definitely want to get you some solution, girl, because that little bit is not going to help. So I'm just going to pour it into the, the eye lens place. Grab these tweezers and this little suction thing. You just take it and put it like this on it. Open up your eyes, girl. Bear with me one second. They look cute. Okay, hold up. Let me wipe my tears away because the girl was like, looked like she was teary eyed. Give me a few minutes to blinkity blink and get focused here. This is the color in gray polar lights too. These colors are supposed to work really well with like dark brown eyes. And I think this looks rather cute. Let's just get in a close up. Okay. 
ever get contacts and they look so unnatural, you can see like that dark line, that dark ring around where your pupils are at. These don't have that. They have a very natural look. So I am feeling them. And so far they are comfortable. But for me, I cannot wear them for too long, like all day long, because it starts making my vision a little cloudy. I already wear glasses. So for me to wear contacts and then not wear my glasses, my eyes start feeling a little bit heavy and tired. So this is good for me for like a few hours, probably like five, six hours. Other than that, you know, they start making my eyesight a little bit cloudy. But I do like these. They look very natural. You know, I have gotten some where I was not feeling. But for the most part, this gray is a nice color. And if you guys see, they look good. Like, I like these. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next pair. So this one is the yellow green polar lights one. And this is what they look like. Not too bad. They look more green than they do yellow, like a very light green, which I'm liking. Like I have a green pair that I already have in my collection and they don't look this light. So I really do like this color green. It looks natural. Like it doesn't have that dark line around it, which I'm appreciating. These ones go really good with dark brown eyes. Don't see any darkness behind them. So this one is the yellow green. Here they go. I know I look crazy doing this, but now we're going to move on to the next pair. And this one is the gray polar light. So let me take these out. Let me tell y'all, first of all, let me, let me just tell you something. It took me like five minutes to get these daggone contact lenses out. I was trying not to poke my own eyes out. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to take these off. I'm going to have to live in them. I would not suggest doing this with long fingernails. All right, you guys. So these are the gray polar lights one. And you can see the huge difference in them. Okay. They're very light. I feel kind of like spooky like. A walking zombie like on The Walking Dead. They make my eyes look kind of spooky and scary. The color, it settled well with the dark brown eyes so you can you cannot see that my eyes are dark brown. I'm not really like a huge fan of this particular color. I mean, it's not bad. I probably would wear these. They're almost looking like a bluish gray to me. So you guys let me know what you think. And we're going to move on to the last pair. Ooh, child, because this is taking the life out of me right now to do all of this, okay? The green polar light too. So I try So for this pair, um, for one, the left eye is bothering me. It feels like it's just moving all around. And I'm not really fond of this color. It kind of gives me like some reptile eyes. I don't like this color green. I've had a pair like this before and I was not very fond of it. The left eye is like bothering me a lot. The right one is comfortable. Sometimes when it's like that, you got to switch them. But I could feel it on my eyes. Even though they don't say left or right, just give that a try. However, I will give you guys this one tip before I leave. These are cosmetic lenses. So for cosmetic contact lenses, you need to be very careful. You do not want to wear them for long periods of time because they are not prescribed to your eyes and they are not fit to your eyeball. They can actually suck the oxygen out of your eyeballs. Trust me when I tell you I've already had this issue where I wore uh, cosmetic color contacts for a while and my eye pupils got so red the light was bothering them had to go to the um i the eye doctor they did tell me that you can wear cosmetic contact lenses but you don't want to wear them for long periods of times because they're not fit to your pupils so what happens is when they're not fit to your pupils they start taking the oxygen out of your eyeballs they were like little dents on my eyeball kind of looked like a golf ball that's what I was told, and my eyes were very sore and red. But either way, they're cute. I wasn't like a huge fan of this last one, and oh my god, I have to get this. Uh, okay, so I'll leave all the information down below. I got to go. I ain't gotta do another video, but you know what? I gotta go. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and all that jazzy good stuff. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Cause now my eyes irritated, and I got to go. Bye.